Okay. I just left the apartment complex and I'm walking up this little hill which wears me out to catch the bus. And I actually just saw the bus go by, so that means the next bus will be 30 minutes from now. It's a little bit before 8 a.m. on October 1st, 2014, and I'm in Fort Worth. My doctor's appointment is at uh, 9 a.m. I went last week and had the lab work done. So I'm hoping he has the lab work this time. And actually, I'm hoping that he finds that I need a medication. And I'm hoping it's for my thyroid. And I, as far as I know, there's nothing wrong with my thyroid, but I'm totally exhausted all the time. I think it's my medications that I'm taking. My doctor and the cardiologist don't want to cut out any medications. So they're thinking that maybe I have a thyroid problem. So I'm hoping the same thing. A little cloudy this morning. This video is being made on, made on, made with my Panasonic FC200. It's a bridge camera, so it's a little big. So I'm carrying a bag. I made a mistake and I had a Panasonic compact camera that I sold and now I'm going to save up and buy one again so I don't have to carry the bridge camera. I love this camera but uh, It's uh, too big to be carrying around. That's Las Vegas Trail up ahead, but the bus stop is uh, down here before I get to Las Vegas Trail. You'll probably see some bunch of kids heading up this way. They go up here behind me to the corner and they uh, catch the school bus up there. And down here on the right is a preschool. Parents dropping their kids off at the preschool.
there's a little convenience store over behind the bus stop. But I've got prostate problems and I can't be I can't be drinking anything before I go anywhere. It's a real pain in the ass. Approaching a bus stop down here. I'm going to have about a 30 minute wait for the bus. I always get to my appointments too early. Probably seeing a lot of buses, aren't you? School buses. I'm at the bus stop. So don't touch that mouse. I'll be back here before long to add to this. Okay. I made it to the mall. That's where my doctor's office is. Now I've just got to make it up the hill to his office. I don't know, I sort of feel like everything is uphill. If something's uphill, I mean, there's got to be a downhill, right? Anyway, I'm going to check in here at the doctor's office. Hope he's got the results of my lab work. Okay, I'm out of the doctor's office. Lab results were good, except uh, my blood sugar is always very high. Just a point or two and it would be diabetes. So, uh, the doctor sent me the lab results. I might have them today. He sent them through the mail. See, lab results were good. Oh, the bad cholesterol. next to an air base. Let's see, the bad cholesterol was actually good. Uh, last year it was a little high. It's, uh, it's good. Cholesterol was good. Uh, blood sugar is always high. Oh, I can't remember what else. Uh, anyway, I got a flu shot and went back to the lab to have blood sugar checked another way, which they did last year. And, uh, oh, all these places on my head that have been bothering me or whatever. I'm going to come back on the 22nd and the doctor is going to uh, calling it surgery, but I'm going to remove them using what, liquid nitrogen or something. Anyway, that's going to be good because they drive me crazy. I'll be you know, I sit at the computer all the time and I'll be rubbing these things. And they, he's going to take them off. So I'm going to go in the mall and get something to eat. Okay, hello there. Let's see. This is uh, the conclusion of my trip yesterday to the doctor's office. I uh, went to the doctor's office. He had the results of my lab oh by the way i my blood pressure was very good excellent they took that my weight not so good 235 that's too much for me i was a very thin person all my life and uh, 
I shouldn't be carrying this kind of weight. Uh, the doctor had the results of my lab work. My blood sugar, again, as it always has been, is just a point or two, and I will be in the diabetes zone. But it stays there. It doesn't go up. So uh, there at the office when I got done, he sent me over to have, again, which he did last year, an additional blood glucose level that's more accurate and sophisticated. I'm sure it'll show the same thing. High blood sugar, but not in the diabetic range. Uh, he congratulated me on my uh, cholesterol level. Said, oh, you're, you know, you're, congratulations dieting and what you're doing. I haven't done anything in the last year, but it uh, was good. And last year it wasn't good. Um, so he said, uh, but I still want to put you on a uh, anti-cholesterol medication, which he said this, you know, every time I see him. And he said, you know, there are new protocols now, and they say that if you have high blood pressure and uh, you have, uh, see, high blood pressure, oh, high blood sugar, and if you're old, that even though your cholesterol level is great, they want to give you these anti-cholesterol medications. I said, no way. I said, uh, I disagree with the scientific findings. In my medical judgment, they're incorrect. <laughs> and uh, I didn't exactly say that, but I said, which he, you know, of course, it's, I tell him every year. I said, uh, in uh, Florida, I was put on one of these cholesterol medications. And for about a month or so, I just thought, well, I, I'm ready to die because every muscle in my body hurt. And I thought old age had just all of a sudden kicked in or something. Then I thought, I wonder if it's this anti-cholesterol medication. And I stopped taking it. And of course, the pain went away. Every muscle in my body had hurt. Any place there was a muscle, it hurt. I think the heart's a muscle. Anyway, everything hurt. And then, of course, I when I stopped taking the medication, I looked it up. And it said that a lot of people cannot tolerate this medication. And it said that every muscle in your body hurts. So, of course, he says the same thing he says every year. The doctor said, well, we can find an a anti-satin or a satin, you know, medication. Maybe that won't. I said, no, no way. I've had it. Nuh -uh, no way. Um I asked him about this spot here. It's red and bloody on top of my head. And I said, is that skin cancer? And he said, well, he looked at it and he said, these other places are such and such and such and such. And he said, I don't know about that because of the way it looks. He, he says, uh, and I said, well, all these other places that are popping up on my head and my face, they drive me crazy. I sit at the computer and I just keep rubbing these and, he said, well, you can come in and I'll freeze them off and, uh, you know, biopsy them and check. And I said, okay, I'm, I'm ready for that. So I'm going to go in on the 22nd and have that done. Um, what else? Doctor's office visits. Guess that's it. Oh, I got a flu shot. Last year, I didn't get a flu shot because I went to the pharmacy that I go to. And if you're a certain age, the flu shot is supposed to be, I think, stronger that they give you. They found that works better. And uh, my insurance would not pay for the stronger shot. So I told the doctor and... Uh, he said, well, we don't have the stronger, he says, but he says the other one, I said, I'll take it, you know, give me the, give me the normal one. So I got a flu shot. Um, then I, the reason I'm having this stuff burned off on the 22nd of this month 
and today's only the second is what I always do when I have a doctor's appointment is I make sure I have money from my social security or money in and so when I go I just make a day of it and have the medical stuff done and go over to the mall and eat or walk around do a little shopping so I went over to Sonic and I had a I love Sonic's food had a hamburger and they've changed their french fries the french fries were no good my grandson says the same thing that they changed the french fries i'm not sure if they were trying to make them uh, healthy or what but man they sure failed uh then i took the bus back home when i got back home there was an email from a friend saying do you want to go to lunch chinese buffet and i said i'm ready so uh, he came over with a couple other people. They picked me up and took me to a Chinese buffet. I love buffets. I can't eat very much at one time. Uh, I wish I could. But I love buffets because it would be great if you could eat, you know. But I love buffets because you can just pick out, you know. You don't have to order one or two things. You just go there and just pick out what you want. I don't think I've ever been to a buffet that I ever made it to the dessert bar or any place else. But uh, the last thing is, I just made a video, I think this morning, if I remember right, using the uh, microphone array in my Sound Blaster SBX80 speaker. And uh, I liked the sound uh, from it, but there was a rumbling in the background, a rumbling in the background. So, uh, and I think I've corrected the problem. What I did is I moved the speaker, which was right, the speaker with the microphone array in it was sitting right next to my uh, computer, just a few inches from it. So I moved it over on this side over here and I cut some foam and I put it underneath the speaker and I cut, as you can see, can you see this? I cut a piece out and I put it underneath the, uh, underneath the computer. So I think you're going to find that the speaker uh, or the sound from the sound blaster, the microphone is much improved and much better. Um, there was something else I wanted to say along those lines. Oh, I tried making several, vi tried, I tried making this video earlier. I made about three attempts and uh, that was using the Sound Blaster software. Now, of course, I'm using the Logitech. Uh, I'm in the uh, backup. Uh, I tried making two or three videos. I'm trying to make a video. I tried two or three times and had some problems. I'm using the Logitech C920, and I was using their software. Of course, since I'm using the camera, I'm using their driver at all times. But I was using their software and for some reason I would make the video and the audio would be okay and then I would you know decide well I'm going to change that a little bit and make a video and I would make the entire video and no audio and I kept checking the settings or whatever so um, I'm not going to be using their software anymore I'm using the uh, Corral Video Studio X7, and you're able to capture video with it, and that's what I'm using. Now, I'm still using the camera for the video, the Logitech, and, but I'm, and I'm also, of course, using the uh, microphones, the microphone array from the Sound Blaster. So hopefully you don't hear that rumbling. Uh, thank you very much for, it's kind of funny. I, oh, I see the elapsed timer here. I guess, I guess this is a play window over here. 
So this is taking 10, 10, 10 minutes. And of course, I got to add this to the end of these other videos. So if you stuck with me this long, thank you very much.